stuff as well this smoke it's just baby oil uh, often called something like uh, Ondina and uh, he is up around uh, four or five thousand feet there and you can hardly see the aircraft uh, but he's starting his display with a little bit of a difference so boys and girls up to you to guess what's coming I don't think you'll find it too difficult you have to remember up there is the wind is much stronger than it is down here so there's an awful lot of drift but I think you'll agree Richard doing his best there to get a slightly uh, lopsided smiley face well done that altitude anyway he'll be uh, doing all his checks now uh, doing a final what we call the T's and P's temperatures and pressures his belt and also a loose article check he'll fly upside down a couple of times just to make sure there's nothing rattling around in the cockpit uh, and uh, I'm looking out uh, to the beach. I think uh, we're just about uh, ready down there as well. There are one or two workers uh, out there which I know are under control. And of course, uh, it goes without saying that uh, if you have no reason to be anywhere else, please stay within the public areas throughout the course of the afternoon. So uh, we will now very, very shortly get this show on the road. We're just waiting for uh, Richard to confirm he's set to go. And I think it'll be about 30 seconds or so before we see him uh, dive down and uh, start off with his uh, traditional uh, welcome.
into the wild blue yonder. Absolutely absolutely. Thank <laughs> you. 
turn of 360 right in front of you. He's pulling up the main G, that is nine times your body weight. So imagine how intense that is. But he's got a lot of help on board. He's got a lot of help on board.
seven about to roll. It's the spectacular Chip Oprah.